because today I have another bridal look for you guys. And it's this one, which is a very unique bridal look. This is something that I did exclusively on my blog about a year ago. Um, and I wanted to recreate it for you guys here on YouTube since I'm like on this bridal run thing. Like I said before in that, in my other bridal makeup look I did, um, just because it says bridal doesn't mean you can only use it or you can only recreate it if you are a bride. I just put that word in there because I made sure to focus on products that would be picture appropriate, um, that would be appropriate for brides, that wouldn't be too much, that would have that flow, that would last all day. All those things I incorporated, everything that a bride would want in her makeup look, I incorporated into this makeup look. So that's why I label it, you know, a bridal look. But, um, this is a very unique look because I have like a lilac lavender shade on my lid, but it's very soft and very elegant, so it still looks beautiful if you're a bride. If lavender or lilac or lavender, there's probably a difference, huh? If lilac um, or the soft lavender is your color for your wedding, this is so beautiful because it ties in to your whole theme. Or originally with my original blog, which I will link down below for you guys, um, I got inspiration off a dress that was like a wedding dress and then it had like this ombre, like lavender, purple on the bottom. So gorgeous. And so that's kind of what inspired this look. And um, you don't have to have purple in your dress. I think this is just really pretty. Um, if that's kind of like your color scheme, you know what I mean? It's just a really, I think it tied together and it just, it's very unique because you don't usually see that kind of fun pop of color on the lid whenever somebody's getting married. You know what I mean? I hope you guys really like it and if you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I am going to start with the eyes. Um, because I want to make sure that there's no fallout and typically whenever I'm doing somebody's makeup or we're doing a bridal look something doing anybody's makeup um, I'll just do the eyes first because if there is any fallout then you mess up you have to do it over again not fun so I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Any white base will do and I'm just going to put that right on the lid and then blend it out and just keep it on the lid. You don't have to go any higher than that. I already did my eyebrows, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, this is just gonna help that lavender just stick a lot better. And then the leftover on my fingers, putting right above, right beneath the brow. Awesome. So I am using the Kirkland Rorke's, um Eye Palette. I got this at Costco a while back. It has all these beautiful colors and a beautiful lavender. I'll put um, an alternative lavender eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. I'll put that down below so you can See that you don't have to have this lavender but any lavender with kind of more of a satiny almost matte finish is perfect so I'm getting that on a flat flat shader brush and I'm going into the lavender tapping off any excess and I'm just gonna pat that onto my lid From all the way from the inner corner all the way to the outer part of the eye. This is really going to make our eyes look a lot longer. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to go and start working in the crease. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stay away from warm shades like this typically I would kind of work in a warm shade like this um, today I'm going to go with a like a cooler shade so something kind of along these lines this is if you're wondering the erudite eye palette from the divergent series but there's lots of eyeshadow and a blending brush kind of like this it's not too big but not too precise
and I'm going into the crease with it. Try to stay away from the lid. And I'm not sweeping it in the very inner corner, I'm just keeping it, keeping it on the outside two thirds of the eye basically. When I'm done with that, I am going to get into a darker brown, kind of like this, and I'm going to get into a more precise brush, like this, it's a lot smaller than what we previously used, and I'm going to lightly get into it, and I'm going to start working it on the outer half, but still just in the crease, don't, don't get too far onto the lid. getting a super fluffy fluffy huge blending brush that hasn't been used has no product on it and I'm just gonna take my time and really blend just the crease try to stay away from the lid you don't want to take away color once I've done that I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that we use the dark brown with and I'm gonna get into this gray color right here so it's a really pretty gray color and I'm going to get into that and I'm just going to deepen up a tiny bit and now I can go in a little further into the crease maybe halfway and I'm going to kind of pull that up a little bit whenever I do this you guys I am being so light with my hands like the pressure where I'm actually the brush is actually touching my lid is so soft and I'm seriously, like, I'm being so soft with it. Try not to, like, turn into a beast, like a, a bridal beast, and get too crazy with it. You just want to, you don't want to put apply too much pressure, because then it could get really dark and muddy really fast. Then taking that fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend that really nicely. Don't blend the product away too much. You want that depth and um, kind of contrast, but you don't want it to be to look unblended. So once you're happy with that, you can get into a fluffier brush. I'm going to get into a matte cream shade. This is matte. It has no shimmer in it. Um, sorry if I'm not talking to the camera. I'm talking to the lens. The you find her over here. I have. I, didn't, I just barely noticed that. Sorry, guys. Um, but this is the matte kind of creamy shade. You can use whatever kind that you want. And I'm putting that right underneath the brow. And I'm just gonna flip it over and blend it. And then I'm getting back into an eyeshadow brush because I feel like I kind of lost some purple. And I'm just gonna fix that. Okay. So now I'm gonna take a shimmery. Um, light color this does have shimmer to it it is very glowy um, you can this one is again from my iridite palette um, but I know naked palette something that's close to virgin from the naked palette so it's something that's like a light cream shade with a tiny bit of like a shimmer a glow to it we're going to apply that into our inner corner with a tiny brush this is just a lip brush right, right in the inner corner like in the tear duct area I'm gonna do the Rimmel Nude Scandalizing Nude on the waterline. And I'm gonna use a black. This is just something I got in my Ipsy this month and it's waterproof black eyeliner. And if you want, you can add kind of a shimmery cranberry shade. This is Toasted from the Naked Palette with that brush i'm gonna add that right here on this outer part i'm using toasted because it's not too dark and it's not going to deepen it but it's going to add some pretty cool dimension 
So I already applied um, a primer and a pore minimizer on my face. You guys know if you've been following me, I love the Baby Skin uh, Instant Pore Eraser for the skin because I do have some pores that are a little bit large enough for you to see them and so applying that right here just really does good um, and I already applied a primer on my face as well so if you are a bride please get a primer I recommend the um, NYX Angel Veil you can find that at Ulta Ulta.com um, but yeah so I've done that and I'm gonna go ahead and start with my foundation I love the True Match Lumi. I do have dry skin, so the True Match Lumi is great if you have dry skin. It's perfect for pictures. If you don't, try the L'Oreal. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation if you are oily. That's perfect, looks gorgeous in pictures. So this is the one I'm using today, but this is a little bit dark for me, so I'm gonna be mixing it just for lightening it up purposes with the Ready Set Gorgeous um, 210 Fresh Complexion. This one's oil-free, but I haven't tested this with um, pictures with like a flash. Um, but it looks like it doesn't have any SPF in it, and it looks like this might be pretty safe for flashbacks. So comment down below if you know for a fact. Um, as far as the ingredients goes, it looks like it's gonna be So now I'm going to use a concealer. This is the Instant Angel Mind Array Starks Under Eye Circles Concealer. This one's just one that I'm using. Um, now I'm going to use NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I really like this one. Um, I think this is pretty good in pictures. Um, it's just a face powder. Just don't use any HD type of powders. Or so like the Elf HD powders not gonna be the best. Now I do have dry skin, so I'm just putting it in certain areas where, like my concealer, where I put concealer, so like my nose, on my chin, and I'm just using a brush to kind of sweep it away. All right. Now into contouring. So this is the Elf Fiji Matte Contouring. It's matte. And I'm gonna start to contour. So this is this blush that I'm using. It's the L'Oreal Feel Natural Light Softening Blush. And it's just kind of like a soft pink. Um, it's really, really pretty. If you have lighter skin, try the e.l.f. Uh, I think it's called Natural Pink Blush. Today I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. Not Baked Bronzer, sorry. Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. And it's just a really pretty bronzer that I think is perfect for brides because it gives that glow from within. It isn't pink. It's a kind of like a um, champagne-y color. But it looks really, really gorgeous. And I'm going to be using a fan brush, which is perfect if you didn't know what fan brushes are for. It's for highlights. So it just perfectly kind of gets in there as you can see. So I'm using that. Now that your face is completely done, we can go ahead and finish the eyes. So right underneath here, you can finish that. And what I'm going to be using right underneath, you can pick and decide what you want to use. But I'm just going to use um, Toasted. So you can go with a brown if you want, you can go with the gray if you want. So I'm going to put toasted right underneath here. 
I'm going to do a wing. I think it looks really gorgeous and really pretty. And so that's what I'm going to do. And this is the NYC eyeliner. And it's one of my favorites. It's not waterproof, but it's awesome. Okay, so to finish off the makeup, well, before I do the lips, I'm going to set it with a setting spray. I can't stress how important it is to set your foundation or your makeup whenever you're going to have a wedding or something where you want your makeup to just be really long lasting. I'm using a lip gloss because everything's so matte already on my face. So I hope you guys really like this bridal look and I hope that I was easy for you guys to follow. Like I said, just because it says bridal doesn't mean that you have to only, you can only use it if you're a bride. Um, I just, I did want, I did kind of have my focus around kind of something that would be picture appropriate, something that would be not too smoky, something that would give you glow. There's just certain things that brides want that I try to make sure to incorporate and have in this makeup tutorial. So, yeah, don't forget to check out my blog because I'll have this blog post for this look, which is very similar, practically the same as the other one, just different products. And I'll also have a link for the other one down below as well. Um, and yeah. Don't forget, beauty comes from within, so make sure you let your shine. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope it continues to be wonderful and exciting and fun. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.